carpal tunnel syndrome. In this video, we will learn about carpal tunnel syndrome, a common condition caused by the compression of the median nerve as it passes through the carpal tunnel in the wrist. Now, the carpal tunnel is a narrow passage surrounded by bones and a ligament. When this space becomes too tight, the median nerve gets compressed, leading to symptoms like pain, numbness, and tingling, mostly in the thumb, index, middle finger, and half of the ring finger. The primary mechanism behind these symptoms is the reduced blood flow to the nerve, called ischemia, which disrupts its ability to send signals properly. This can happen due to various reasons, which we can remember using the mnemonic MICE, mass lesions like tumors or cysts, inflammation caused by repetitive use, or conditions like rheumatoid arthritis, congenitally small tunnels, and edematous states like pregnancy or hypothyroidism. These factors make the tunnel tighter, compressing the nerve. Now, repetitive hand movements are a major contributor to carpal tunnel syndrome. Activities like typing, driving, using vibrating tools, or even holding a phone for long periods can increase the risk. Interestingly, this condition is more common in women, particularly those who are obese or diabetic, and symptoms often worsen at night, even waking patients from sleep. This happens because certain wrist positions, like extreme flexion or extension, increase pressure on the nerve, while a neutral or slightly flexed wrist position lowers the strain and provides relief. The classic symptoms include pain, tingling, and numbness in the median nerve distribution. However, in some cases, the pain can spread to the entire hand or localize to the wrist. If untreated, it can progress to cause weakness in the thumb muscles, called the thenar muscles, making it difficult for the patient to hold small objects or perform fine movements. Diagnosis of carpal tunnel syndrome is mainly based on the patient's history and physical examination. Doctors look for risk factors like repetitive wrist motions or systemic conditions like hypothyroidism. Two common clinical tests help confirm the diagnosis, the Phelan maneuver and the Tynell test. In the Phelan maneuver, the patient presses the backs of their hands together, flexing the wrist for 30 to 60 seconds. If this reproduces the symptoms, it suggests carpal tunnel syndrome. The Tynell test involves tapping over the median nerve at the wrist, which may trigger pain or tingling in the affected fingers. Sometimes doctors use additional tests, such as nerve conduction studies, to measure how well electrical signals pass through the median nerve. Electromyography can also help rule out other conditions like cervical reticulopathy or polyneuropathy, which may mimic carpal tunnel syndrome. Treatment depends on the severity of the condition. In mild cases, we start with splinting, especially at night, to keep the wrist in a neutral position and reduce pressure on the nerve. If splinting doesn't provide enough relief, a doctor may inject glucocorticoids directly into the carpal tunnel to reduce inflammation. Oral glucocorticoids may be used as a last resort if injections are not effective. In severe cases, or when non-surgical methods fail, surgical decompression is performed. This involves cutting the transverse carpal ligament to release pressure on the median nerve. Physical therapy may also be helpful when combined with other treatments. It's important to note that if left untreated, carpal tunnel syndrome can lead to permanent nerve damage and muscle weakness. Early diagnosis and management can prevent complications and help patients return to their normal activities. For prevention, patients should take regular breaks during repetitive tasks, use ergonomic tools, and avoid keeping the wrist in extreme positions for long periods. With proper treatment and precautions, most patients experience significant relief from symptoms.